Hello, my name is Mark Shinesk. I'm Senior Application Engineer with Siler Design Solutions. And in this video, I'll be performing a watershed analysis and culvert design in Autodesk InfraWorks. In this particular InfraWorks model, I have a new component road that intersects into an existing four lane highway next to this subdivision. Now I have water that flows overland from this high hill area down through past the subdivision and along this drainage route along here where my new component road blocks. So in order to design a culvert that allow this water to pass, I'll have to do a watershed analysis. Now there's a couple other tools I can use to quickly look at my high and low points of my model to determine where I could possibly require culverts. If I go into the design review dra engineer drainage and go to the analysis tab, I can perform a simple terrain theme. Now in the terrain theme dialog box, I can add a theme, choose the elevation analysis type, choose my minimum and maximum elevation, the number of rules that I want, and the type of palette. And when I click OK, you can see I can get a simple terrain theme that shows me where the high and low points are. And you can see where my low points cross right next to this component road here. I'm going to turn off that theme, go back to my regular route, and this time I'm going to perform a watershed analysis. Now I choose the Create Watersheds tool. This does require me to have an Autodesk account and will pull cloud credits from my cloud credit bank. I'll click OK, and I can do one of two items now. I can click a point of known drainage, so if I have a point where I know the culvert's going to cross, I can click that and it'll perform the watershed analysis, or I can choose my component road. I can also choose my grid spacing and stream threshold to further define or refine the fineness that it's going to look for, but I'm going to leave the default values here. And I'm just going to choose my component road. Now I could do a partial analysis by choosing a starting and end station, but I'm going to go ahead and click enter and analyze the entire component road. Now this will take a few seconds here. Um, it's going to upload the data to the Autodesk server. Depending on the complexity of your model, it might take mm, one or two minutes. But once the analysis is done, it's going to go ahead and download that analysis to my model and create a coverage area showing the drainage area. So my analysis has now been completed and 50 cloud credits were deducted from my Autodesk account. Okay, so it shows you the coverage area showing where the water is coming from, a black line here that determines the stream route plus a point of interest marker on where that stream crosses my component road. Once the analysis is done, I can go ahead and select my component road. I can then choose right click, drainage, add culverts, and the program will automatically add culvert wherever one of those watershed analysis streamline crosses my road. As I zoom in on my component road, you can see it is add a culvert plus an end section to each end of that culvert. I can further an uh, analyze and design this by selecting my watershed area and I can add some hydrology data to it. In this case I'll do something simple here. I'll go ahead and choose a rational method. Uh, I'll choose a simple uh, combined coefficient of runoff of 0.75 and a rainfall intensity of 1.75 inches per hour. Whoops, let's change that again. 1.75. Once I do that, you can see it's calculated for the 100-year storm, 627 CFS. Uh, okay, once that's done, I can go ahead and click on my culvert again, and it will use this hydrology analysis to redefine and resize my culvert. You see, my culvert is now set up to be a 120-inch culvert uh, with a length of 113 feet. I can also click this button here to do a simple report, which will open up a web browser and it'll give me all the information of my culvert, including the hydraulic gray line upstream, downstream, and the high water elevation, plus all the remainder of my design. And a simple report that I can print out. Okay, and as you can see now, because I had this larger culvert in here, I'm gonna go ahead and have to click on my component road, and I'll go ahead and have to raise the profile of it to give coverage over that culvert. Once this is all done, I can then go ahead and open this model up in 
Autodesk Civil 3D. The road will come in as a corridor model and the culvert will come in as a uh, pipe network object of a, you know, a pipe and two end walls. There we go. And it raised that road up a little bit more to get a little bit of coverage. Again, this is all preliminary design. It's very easy to do in InfraWorks and it gives me a good head start on uh, things that I may need to do in um, Civil 3D for further refined design. And that's it. That's simple watershed analysis and InfraWorks. If you have any questions, please go ahead and email me at mshinesk at siler-ds.com. Please follow us on our blog at www.siler-ds.com forward slash blog for more tips and tricks and other videos. And I hope you have a great day, and I hope this has helped you a lot. Thank you. Bye-bye.